Hey, what's up guys? My name is Antonio and um, I decided to start document my journey on becoming a software engineer. Um, I've been watching a lot of podcasts and a lot of successful developers said that they documented their journey, not just, you know, to be successful, but, you know, to look back on like for yourself and probably can look back and see how far you came. And so I decided to start. Let me just get uh, this is the first video. I'm hoping to basically every single day upload a video just either of what I learned. And if I got time, um, maybe do like some code alongs or something of me learning certain things. Um, so right now, as of right now, I do know a little bit of HTML and CSS. And I know the fundamentals of, you know, vanilla JavaScript. I also am attending New Camp, uh, Code and Boot Camp. I am taking their full stack software engineer um, course. And uh, basically it's self-paced throughout the whole week. And on Saturday, we have a four hour lecture. And um, it's, going, it's going pretty good. Uh, right now we're on Bootstrap. So yeah, well, I attend, sorry about that, I had to cut it. I'm at work, so I'm just making this quick video. So um, yeah, right now we're on full stack. Uh, I mean, I said, right now we're on bootstrap. And um, yeah, I like bootstrap, but um, I've been watching a lot of developers and you know, they said don't depend on bootstrap. But you know, I gotta get through the course and stuff and I'm working on my uh, bootstrap portfolio site. Um, my portfolio project for new camp basically uh they have a they have us building a bootstrap version and then next we're going to react and then uh after that we have to go to react native and i believe no js and mongodb and all that stuff um so yeah right now so hopefully tomorrow i'm at work right now so tomorrow i'm ho hopefully the next video day two i'm gonna do a like code along of me working on my portfolio project for a uh, new camp and uh yeah so just a little bit more about me um i wanna i wanted a career change uh, i'm currently a technician and um I've been self-teaching myself for, I just said that totally wrong, but um, I just, I've been self-taught uh, for about a year and a half. Been watching a lot of Udemy courses and a lot of um, like Code Academy and Team Treehouse and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been really learning you know solo and one thing i can say is that the year and a half that i've been teaching myself i've worked on no projects i just been learning and like i've been like i said i've been listening to podcasts and that's like one big no-no and um i'm glad that i joined new camp it's affordable so that's why i joined and um it works with it works with my time i got uh, two kids and one on the way so um, yeah it's, it's perfect so I'm glad I joined them so now I'm actually working on my first like actual project it's bootstrap uh, but I don't want to make this video too long that is this is day one I'm gonna try my best to record every single day even if it's just something like this of me at work and just telling you what I what I learned today um this is a few tips. Uh, I'm not a pro, but this is a few tips for all like self-taught. Um, before I go, I just really want to get this out there because it was one of my biggest downfalls. Uh, it's actually two tips. So the first one is start working on projects. I'm like, I I know you guys hear this from a lot of developers. If you guys listen to podcasts or watch developer videos and start working on just anything man just just anything it could be a nav bar just just start working on it man it's you'll learn a lot 
like just from doing this bootstrap project, once I show you guys tomorrow, uh, just from working on that, I've learned a lot. Like I learned CSS transitions. Like it's just like, I mean, I learned it before, but now it's actually stuck with me. Like I can actually make a transition now without having to look it up. Like I can, like a nice hover effect, have the button go in the air or have the button, you know, the box shadow. Like I know it's simple, but it's just like, I couldn't do that until I start working on my own. And um, so that's the first tip. And the second tip is um, I would definitely um, get a schedule going like with these, like, cause there's so many, it's so much resources out there to learn stuff. And it's like, I don't know about you guys, it's overwhelming. Like, like first you got Scrimba, then you got Team Treehouse, then you got Code, Code Academy. It's like, what to do? So like, I, I made an, an Excel sheet. Um, I actually have it pulled up. I don't want to turn the cameras, my work stuff over there, but I, maybe tomorrow when I'm at home, I can show you guys. Um, I made an Excel sheet that shows like, it has the date on the left side and then it shows what I'm doing that entire day. So for example, on, let's go to any date. So on um, December 4th, um, I did Scrimba, uh, JavaScript, Blackjack game. They have a, a, a JavaScript course on there that I just did the Blackjack game. I created a Blackjack game that I think it was like two hours long. And then I also worked on my uh, portfolio project, uh, Wireframe. So, and then also worked on, uh, what did it say? Also worked on my logo, my, my logo as well. So it's just like, just to, I'm telling you, the schedule really helped because like at first I was just bouncing around. Like I was going to Team Treehouse and I'd be like, oh, you know what? I, I, I want to do Scrimba. So I go to Scrimba and then, you know, just like bouncing around. It's so, uh, it, it, it comes in handy. So yeah, um, that's day one. Hopefully I didn't make this video too long. You guys stuck with me. Um, that's day one and tune in for day two tomorrow. Peace out.